Welcome back to a brand new season of DXB Today. So, an opportunity for us to look back at the year of 2023, but more importantly, to look ahead to 2024. The very reason that this show is on air is to give you an idea of what's going on around this dynamic city in all its different guises. And one place that you really can find that reflected is, of course, the Coca-Cola Arena. Uh, the general manager of the Coca-Cola Arena is uh, Mark Yankar. He's joined us for a brand new season down here. General, it's good to have you with us here today. Thanks for joining us. Evening, how are you? <laughs> We're okay. How is... At ease. At ease. Thank you very much, Steve. Okay, phew. Everyone's oh. in very high spirits today, aren't they? Isn't it lovely? Yeah, Kicking off a new show. season yeah. style, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Listen, great to have you with us. Before we do what we have asked you to come and do here today, which is look ahead to the year that, <laughs> that is, what about the year that was? What do your numbers look like at the end of 2023? 83 live events, 59 unique shows. So obviously when it comes to family and like Hans Zimmer, there was multiple shows. So, and 24 corporate events. So 100 plus activities in the building. How Record is this? numbers? Correct, yeah. And 2024, we're looking at least 20% more than that. And 24 corporate events is interesting because yep. um, I'm going to touch on that in a bit. I Because you kicked off 2024 in style with Michael McIntyre last weekend, which I was at with my entire family. He was so good. We were saying about how good he is at the local content. We love it when you know people come to the UAE and actually talk about what we can reflect on. Um, so congratulations Thank on you. the first sold out show. We what actually else? had three shows over the weekend. Oh, yeah. No, but... Majid Al Mahandas on the Friday. Sure, I wasn't there. Michael McIntyre on the Saturday, okay. and then uh, EXO K-pop K -pop last night. Yeah. There was a K-pop show? Yes. A K-pop show. Look, was there. You tell was there. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, all right. Well, congratulations for a big weekend to start off the year then. Come on then. What have we got coming up then, 2024? Just give us, give us Q1. <laughs> Q1. Uh, so Marvel Live, uh, Marvel Universe Live starts at the end of January, runs through to the 4th of Feb. Uh, we have Anurud, so his first UAE performance on the 10th of February. Sonu Nagam on the 11th. And then at the back end, we've got um, AP Dillon returning from incredible shows at Expo on the 29th of February. Uh, Kevin Hart on the 4th of March. And then a few days just before Ramadan, Khaled. So it's a rescheduled show from October 23, is now the 8th of March. Ah. So very busy uh, Q1. Well, I know because Laura, what you, Laura's like, I, I, I'm secret. So when you can ask him what this you This is want. it. I'm wondering how deep we can, we can probe the it. general Go and find it. out, you know, what, what, what we might, what, what might be happening in uh, Q2, 3 and 4. Any, any sneak, any sneak exclusives you can share with us? So in Q2. She says getting yeah. out her notepad. So in Q2, obviously <laughs> we've got the holy month of Ramadan. So this year we'll undertake some family activity and some sports events, which is going to be a first for us. And then we'll start off with uh, some activities with the Dubai Comedy Festival. We've obviously got Eden Dubai. Um, we've got a big few announcements later this week. Uh, and then Q3 will continue very strong with a big emphasis on sport in 2024. In you, the arena? In the arena. Huh. huh. We could get rid of all the chairs. <laughs> That's how arenas work. That's really. true. Though. <laughs> we, we, we send in an army. Mark is not going to be hiring you anytime soon, Louis, you're fine. No, but you touched on the K-pop overdose early on. Do you see an appetite growing for Asian uh, artists? There is. So obviously, you know, we, we classify sort of Indian and Pakistani shows as Southeast Asian. So if we sort of dive in deeper, um, Asian content is very important to us. Pre-COVID, we were supposed to have Music Bank and Super Junior, but obviously that we're looking to reschedule those, hopefully in later 24 or 25. Uh, but with the immersion of K-pop and J-pop and everything else along oh, those yes. lines, we've got some exciting things coming. And also, Watch out for P-pop too, yep. by the way. Exactly, very true. <laughs> is it another first I've sort of seen? Is it, is it true that Coca-Cola Runner is going on the road this week for the first time? Because I've kind of worked out this. So Big Ed is in town, yep. but you're involved, but it's not at the arena. No. So there's obviously certain shows or festivals that just simply can't be held in Coca-Cola Arena. And, and so for us to build relationships with our communities, we thought, well, what can we do to sort of bring Coca-Cola Arena or an element of Coca-Cola Arena to major events and festivals? So for Ed Sheeran this weekend, we're very happy to, to work with All Things Live and AG Presents and Ed's management to sort of do a little bit where we support in terms of the production and in that VIP area lounge. So that's going to be a big gig, isn't it? There's a very big gig. And then Another big festival that's coming to the UAE will also announce, if not later this week, early next week, our association with that. No, hang on. No, because that, <laughs> wait. 
No, because it's not fair, right? <laughs> so, Laura's already asked you, you have been on the show so many times, <laughs> you knew you were coming <laughs> on the show, you need to, and I know you're with your team as well, you need to bring that announcement forward. Please tell us. Please tell us what this music festival is, because you told me about it at the weekend as well, but you won't tell me anything. So the festival is taking place in February at Expo City. That's all I can say. That's yeah. yeah. Great what? venue. Yeah, brilliant uh, venue. Exactly. There Fine. we go. Fine. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> uh, as always, if people want to find out more and want to stay in touch with the big yep. announcements, what's the best way for them to do that? CocoArena.com or follow us on our social channels. Busy one for you this year? Very busy. Very, very busy. Thank you. Well, Mark, thank you so much for joining us. And I'm sure he'll be here next week and the week after yeah. that. <laughs> and we can ask him more questions again that he exactly. won't answer us. You know, it'll be fine. Thank you so much, Mark. We are so happy to have you with us as always. I'm sure you'll be here every day. <laughs> now, the Gulf Print and Pack 2024 was in full swing last week, showcasing leading print technology for a more digitized and sustainable future. And looking at the top providers in the region, today's spotlight is on Hawass Muhammad from Colorline Printing Press.